Warning, what you're about to see is potentially dangerous. These are nightly builds of OpenTX. These builds are buggy and unreliable, and you should at no time trust your transmitter or quad after making these changes to your radio. If you encounter a bug with a nightly build, please check the repo and report the bug to the OpenTX developers. I am in no way responsible for you damaging your equipment, and I am absolutely not responsible if you hurt yourself or others. This video is for inf information purposes only. Please do not do this at home. All right, folks, welcome back. Uh, some OpenTX 2.3 nightlies are out, and I have heard that it will allow the multi-protocol module on the X-Lite Pro. Um, these are nightlies. They are not to be trusted. Use them at your own risk. There, anything could happen. Your quad could just fly away, never to be seen again. Or, I don't know. I'm not sure what the worst could happen besides that. I mean, other than hurting somebody. First things first. We're going to need to go to the OpenTX.org website right here, OpenTX.org, and you're going to see OpenTX 2.3 Nightlies. Go ahead and give that a click. We're going to need to download SD card contents for the 2.3 Nightlies, so give that a click. And then depending on the radio, we're going to use the X-Lite, so we're going to click X-Lite uh, 2.3 version uh, 0019, which I'm pretty sure is already what is on my SD card, but we're going to download that anyways, and uh, I already did. Uh, for some reason, if you're using um, one of these other radios, that would that would be those. But there is this right here. Do not use on any radio other than the X-Lite Pro and the X9 Lite. I don't know if the X9 Lite has hit the market yet, but the X-Lite Pro certainly has, and I've had mine for a couple weeks now. All right, next thing we need to download is the OpenTX 2.3 Nightly Companion. Go ahead and give that a click, download it, install it, and open it up when it's done. And while that's downloading, you can peruse the GitHub for the nightly milestones, figure out what's what, and the list of all the bugs that are still in the code. All right, so we've got OpenTX Companion 2.3 Nightly 7 installed. Go ahead and make sure your X-Lite Pro is turned off and connect it with a USB plug or USB cable. Mine's connected. Go ahead and hit the big gear icon. Uh, you can name your profile if you want. Make sure you select X-Lite S or Pro. Uh, menu language for me, English. I don't fly uh, helis, so that is going to be checked so I I lose that heli menu. Multi-module, this is a big one. I want that. Uh, Flex R9M, I don't care about that because Flex doesn't really do anything for you if you're in the US. It's more or less people in the EU. Uh, but we'll we'll go ahead and enable that either way. Uh, Lua and Lua C, make sure those are enabled. And I like the SQT5 font. It's neither here nor there whether you click it or not, but I, uh, I kind of like that. Uh, if you want a splash screen, go ahead and select that here. Make sure your default channel order is set up the way you normally fly it, T-A-E-R, and your mode. Mine is mode 2. Click over to application settings. Uh, make sure you're selected on use nightly builds um, and automatic check for updates on both of these. And this line here uh, will dictate how the new model when you create a new model, how your radio acts. You can either make use the wizard, open the model editor, or just create a model. Uh, I'm gonna leave it on model wizard. I don't really create too many models. Um, pretty much everything else I'm not too concerned about. So go ahead and click okay. That's gonna set the parameters for OpenTX. Now click the download button and hit check for updates. Yep, there's new firmware. Do we want to download it? Yes, we do. Click download and go ahead and save that to someplace that you'll be able to find it later. And if you notice, all our options are in the name of the file. So hit save. And I'm going to click no and hit OK. Something I forgot is we want to make a backup of our radio. So we're going to click read firmware from radio. It 
get a file name for our firmware, hit save, and it is remove it is making a copy of the firmware of exactly how our radio is set up and it's saving to a file on our computer. Now I'll go ahead and click download, download firmware. We're going to download our firmware. And then it's going to ask us, do you want to write the firmware to the radio now? Of course, click yes. Make sure before you do this, your radio is turned off, but connected to a USB port. Select yes. Make sure everything looks right. 2.3, nightly 7, variant 219, the right date. And make sure you check, check hardware compatibility and hit right to TX. All right, flashing's done. We hit it close. No, I guess okay. Or we hit download SD card cont contents, but we've already done that. It's the same menu as when you click here. So we've already done that. We can hit okay, close, and you can disconnect your radio. Okay, we're on the bench here, and let's go ahead and fire this guy up. All right, it says nightly warning, version not safe to fly. Okay, this is something, I'm serious, guys. This is a nightly. Who knows what's going to happen? It could work today and not tomorrow or vice versa with unknown results. This is a nightly. You should not fly this. Well, with that said, hey, we're going to go fly this. We'll just click past that. And it didn't give me an SD, SD card contents warning because I already have the, uh, the SD card contents that were on that was on FR Sky's website. So that is all good to go. So let's go ahead and let's go into the model menu and we'll create a new model. Uh, yeah, multi, yep, 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 yep. I'm just gonna skip past all this stuff. All right, let's see here. Uh, internal RF, ISRM. Oh. Oh, XJT. Hmm. I'm curious if that works. And nope, XJT on D8 does not work for internal RF. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And what I'm interested in is external RF. And I'm hoping that there it is. The multi-protocol option is here. And let's see if they have... Oh, there's FR Sky. And we can change it to D8. All right. Uh, here I have the uh, the Vantac uh, MPM multi protocol module, the light version that fits in the X Lite. We're going to go ahead and pop this bad boy in here. And I'm going to go ahead and connect this little quad. This has a, uh, this is my my cavity frame, if you haven't seen this, uh, I have a ton of videos on this, and I'm actually selling this frame on my Etsy sh shop. If you're interested in getting one, uh, they're pretty reasonable and they're super durable, fun to fly, uh, great little frame. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and connect this guy up to Betaflight. This has the uh, Crazy B F4 Pro board in it. Uh, nice thing about Crazy B or the internal SPI protocol or SPI module that's in this is you can you can hit the bind button through Betaflight. So we'll go ahead and switch over to Betaflight here and go ahead and connect. And let's go down to receiver just so you see that that yeah, wiggle and sticks, nothing's happening. So let's go to the CLI and you type in bind underscore rx underscore SPI. And we'll go ahead and hit enter and it's going to go into binding mode and as you can see it is in binding mode it has the, uh, the leds are on in the back we're going to go down to rx number two we're going to hit bind We 
And there you go. Find complete. Let's go over to Betaflight and just make sure we got that. Type save. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Go to receiver and look at that. I got my sticks on a D8 receiver using multi protocol module on the FR Sky X Lite. This is awesome. I am so, so happy that this works. Well, let me go ahead and set up my switches. And here we go. There we go. It's official. D8 mode quad bound to a multi protocol module on the X Lite Pro. Folks, if you like what I'm doing here, please like, subscribe. If you're interested in this radio or this module or even my frame, there'll be links in the description below. Please uh, support me, help me out here. Um, the more you click on those links, uh, the more product I can get in here to show you guys and help you guys out. Uh, same thing with the frames. It's uh, my own design, obviously. It's a quad design. It uses a lot of different elements from a lot of different quads, but it's my design. I designed it. I rendered it, I cut it, I prepped it, I packaged it. This is all me here. Um, please help me out. Uh, anyways, like, subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, please, by all means, ask away in the, in the comment section below. Uh, I'm more than happy to, to help you out. I answer pretty much every question that anybody throws at me. Um, I, love, I love doing this. I love helping people out. I love this hobby, and um, I love the community. You guys are awesome. Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to go take this outside and in a controlled environment and give it a shot. Remember, nightly, don't trust it. It's bad. But it kind of works. All right, guys. I'll catch you next time.